the question around Matthew 6, 33 is, okay, what's the context of what Jesus was talking to? Who was he talking to? What was he talking about? And whether that old covenant context is the same in the new covenant or whether this was for everybody. Now, I would suggest he was talking to people who didn't have an intimate relationship with the Father and didn't really know um, what God's kingdom was really all about. And we're looking for an earthly kingdom and therefore only looking for earthly practical things. Now, I believe the context for us is that we do have a totally different relationship with the Father and that our relationship with the Father is not conditional on anything. You know, God loves us unconditionally and therefore wants the best for us. They didn't know that reality. Therefore, they were still operating under a law based system. And some of their understanding of what the kingdom was about and the context of all those things needed to be put into into the right context. So Jesus was really saying, look, if you really know the father, you don't need to worry. But it's really about knowing the father, not about seeking first the kingdom, because actually seeking first the kingdom is really about knowing the father because jesus summed everything up really is love one another as i've loved you so when it comes to knowing who we are knowing our identity as sons of god our identity has attached to it all that we need for the outworking of that identity and if we're in a relationship with the father then if we're only desiring to outwork the father's heart as Jesus did, only doing what he saw the Father doing, you could say really that is an expression of the kingdom of God. The inner desire to only outwork the relationship we have with the Father, to outwork the Father's intentions and desires, because they become our desire in relationship with him, will have with it everything we need. But so many of the teachings, particularly the teachings on sowing and reaping and all those particularly financial prosperity teachers are always focusing on how much you need to have, how much you want rather than how much you need. I only need everything to enable me to fulfill my destiny. Now that's described as all my needs and an abundance for every good deed. So that's all I need. So I don't need more than I need. And if I'm focused on only outworking the father's heart in relationship with him, then that will be released. Now, I believe the father will give us all we need to enable us to do all we need to do. Now, a lot of people are presuming that he will give that retrospectively. So if I do what God wants me to do, then afterwards he will supply and they get in debt and they end up outworking that through that. Now, I want to encourage you to continue to pursue intimacy with the father and therefore not be focused on what you think the kingdom is or seeking first the kingdom or if it matches up to any expectation because people will have different expectations on what seeking the kingdom is so i would encourage you to spend the time invested in relationship with the father and the father would outwork that because I don't believe those who are fulfilling their destiny are broke. They will have all they need to fulfill it. And, but the expectation of what they need is not what they necessarily are told that they want. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.